that is reality in photography. It's always complicated. And I think it's so much more honest to just say that there is no objectivity. Diana Marcosian, nice to meet you. I'm very happy to be here with you in Vevey to discuss about photography. You know, the, the festival celebrates photography and we at Photo Elysee, we also celebrate photography. And my first question would be, how was your introduction to photography? How did you discover photography uh, before becoming a photographer yourself? I'm so happy to be here and thank you for having me. I was in graduate school and I was 20 and studying in New York and found photography at school and I was meant to become a writer and suddenly had a camera and found myself really wanting to take pictures. It just felt more in line with my personality and I just could disappear in a story and suddenly come back with my own proof, you know, images offered that real proof and almost a backstage pass where I had a chance to be anywhere and it just felt so intimate and so um, personal in a way that I, I didn't experience with writing. It, it touched me, it, it really, you know, it gave me this sort of purpose And after finishing grad school, I moved to Moscow, so I was 21. I bought a one-way ticket. You moved to Moscow? Mm -hmm. So I was living in New York. Bought a one-way ticket to Moscow and just moved and wanted to teach myself how to use a camera and, and became a photographer. Being in these two separate worlds between uh, Russia and between you know, North America, And the relationship to images, I think, is quite different. Or what was your experience about that? Because, of course, your work is also about, you know, building, you know, a life through images, fictional images. And uh, what was your impression about the, the images that surrounded you at that time? Yeah, I think those early years really gave me that foundation because I was approaching it through journalism. And it was so document, documentary photography. Documentary photography and really about moments, events, and, and, and people. So I think the biggest difference you know, that I found was I almost, I built a community in Moscow for myself with photographers. This was in 2010, 2011, 12, where we, we just, I had this community where f photographers looked at my work, helped me improve, and really gave me a, a feeling that I wasn't alone. When I look back, it was it was just something very special that I created for myself at that at, at that moment. I think creatively it was exciting, but also just like I was discovering a culture. I think that's that that's why. I moved to Moscow. You know, I was discovering a culture and a part of my life that we abandoned. You know, so much of my work has been about filling a hole mm -hmm. in a in a story that was ruptured. You know, and I think that it gave me this real opportunity to do things at my own in my own way and have a better understanding of where I came from through photography. Yeah. Um, also for me, what is interesting is in your work, and you just mentioned that you started studying photography through documentary photography. Uh, photography for many people, it's the reality. It's what photography would show is what the world is. But in your work, you have this blurring line between fiction and reality. We never really know how much it's a real people, how much it's staged how much is the proper your story or how much it's inventing a fictionalized story. Hmm. So photography for you was a way to leave reality and somehow make this kind of, you know, step apart. It's, it's always interesting for me to hear it described like that, especially with Santa Barbara. To me, I, I understand, you know, I'm not really delusional. <laughs> I get that it's a 
piece of fiction, but to me it's the truest thing I've made. And it's true because it took so long to get to this place of finding people to represent my family. And, you know, if there's, you have these members of your family, they obviously have a different version of what happened. But I think when my own family looks at this, they can really attest to our story on some level, you know, not fully, it's never going to be um, a s objective or uh, version of it. But it's the closest thing that I could make to a, a part of our story. That's why the experience as a viewer, I think it's quite interesting. I think that I want my work to continue in that direction because I think that is reality in photography. It's, it's always complicated. It's not mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. a proof of history. It's a moment mm -hmm. that was captured by one single person witnessing their version of that moment. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I think that was the, the most, um, like my, maybe my biggest, uh, takeaway when creating Santa Barbara, I brought my whole family into a room and started to understand that everyone experienced everything so differently. You know, we're on an airplane coming to America. It's my brother has a completely different version, parts of it that he doesn't even remember. And we have these, you know, real experiences that we all live through yet completely different interpretations of it. And if we were to all make a different, or if we were all to make a version of Santa Barbara, it wouldn't be what this project was. My mom's story is not this story. It would be completely different. My brother's story is not this story. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think it's so much more honest to just say that there is no objectivity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also what is interesting because uh, your project is called Santa Barbara. And even here in Switzerland, Santa Barbara is about these you know, soap opera uh, that were so uh, well known in the 80s, 90s. And in a way, it has an influence on the way we think America is. And images make you believe that reality is in a way, you know, shown in a specific way. And it's all fiction in that sense. You know, the, the soap opera is a fiction, but it, shows you how in your mind you are supposed to think about a real a proper place a real mm. place and that's exactly your work that right. when you arrive in santa barbara this is linked to what you thought it could be beforehand mm. sh looking at all these previous images like you know tv program mm. i have a um, final question about um, images tonight you could invite an artist or anybody for dinner just here in this beautiful place and have a conversation who would that be i really admire sophie cal i think for me that is maybe the most interesting person i'd want to have a conversation with just because of the nature of the work and mm -hmm. and the vulnerability that comes with um confronting different chapters of your life so probably her that's very interesting because Sophie Kyle is exactly this uh, artist that makes also fiction mm. and reality in the, in the way that she experiences mm. um, relationships mm -hmm. um, and that she photographed this experience. So mm. thank you. That's, that's mm -hmm. a very interesting point. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much for having me.